Hey guys, welcome back. This is your fitness host, Tarun Gill. So I'm glad you know uh, you're liking what I'm posting. Uh, I'm glad that you know uh, uh, you're liking the fact that somebody is actually somebody actually has come out uh, and 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 sharing things which were always uh, you know uh, which which no one was actually talking about it, which was pretty much under wraps. So today's topic is about diet. And when I say diet, I don't, I'm not going to give you that crap of uh, the same dietitian or a nutritionist crap that they give you. Oh, you know, you got to eat this much carbs, you're going to eat this much protein. Uh, and, and, you know, this is what pisses me off. You know, I really had to struggle a lot to get a physique, you know, which I could get comfortable. And I'm not saying I have the best physique. I have a long way to go. But... You know, I reached out to so many dietitian, nutritionists asking me, please tell me the diet, what should I follow? Then I spoke to many trainers, I spoke to many so-called fitness experts, and they all had divided opinions. Like if you go to a nutritionist, uh, pretty much it would be a she, she would tell you, uh, oh, you know, please do eat this, please eat that. And, and the same thing if I were to ask a fitness trainer, he will put you on a different diet altogether. I mean, though, you know, uh, he has he's not even entitled to give you a diet plan, by the way. But that's a different story altogether. That, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about diet and nutrition to get that chiseled body. Like, you know, you hear these stories of celebrities and people transforming themselves in weeks. What do they do? Have you ever thought about it? You know, uh, these film stars or anyone, you know, you may have heard them. They, you know, in weeks, in matter of weeks, they come out and they have the chiseled body you can think of. What do they do? Have you ever thought about it? I mean, you know, you and I or anyone else, you know, we've been working out for years, but not even close to that. We always think, of yeah, what is that magic wand? I want to know that magic wand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be sharing that magic wand with you. What they follow is a very strict diet and that diet no dietitian would recommend it. that diet no nutritionist would recommend because it's a very short term arrangement so what i'm about to share with you is the real diet what bodybuilders and fitness models eat to get that desired body and the reason why i'm doing this is to educate you all so that you at least know what the real stuff is rather than you know people misguiding you all the teenagers youngsters that you should eat this you should eat that bull fucking shit I'm going to be talking all hard facts. So let's talk with the breakfast. So this diet is all about males. Uh, female one, I'm going to do a different video. <clears throat> males, like let's say a, a typical guy who wants to have a chiseled physique, a six pack abs and a, and a very muscular body. What does he need to eat? First, he needs to get onto boiled food. Yeah. All these actors, all the most of these actors or most of these fitness models, if you were to follow them on YouTube or if you see them, Nobody tells you the real deal. I'm telling you the real deal. It's the boiled food. Now, the typical breakfast would be boiled eggs. You know, uh, they actually go completely off carbs. Uh, yeah, and depending on the body, you know, some actually, some depending on the body type that they may have, some of them may take carbs, some of them, but technically, 90, 80 to 90% of the people, uh, of people who want to have a chiseled body, they pretty much eliminate carbs from their diet. They go to extreme measures because they want that extreme body in weeks. And that's the best way to do it. And trust me, that body cannot be maintained for long because you got to understand, these celebrities have these bodies made just for that one particular shoot. Or for that matter, fitness models only prepare these bodies for that one particular show. Bodybuilders prepare these body for one particular contest. After that, if you see a bodybuilder, Indian bodybuilder or an international bodybuilder, they are fucking fat in their off season, aren't they? Because the amount of torture they have gone through, when I say torture, I mean food, I'm not even talking about steroids. Uh, that's a different kind of torture and trust me, they really go heavy on their dosages. So what they do is they kind of come off cycle uh, uh, in their off season, uh, uh, very basic steroids that they do. I'm talking about bodybuilders and, and fitness models. But on their diet also, they pretty much eat everything because whatever they've gone through in that 6 to 12 weeks for preparing for that contest to shoot, they've really taken their body to extremes. So I was talking about breakfast. Breakfast is all about boiled food. 
uh, eggs or, 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 or you know probably some oats in water no sugar no fucking salt yeah and you know guys when I say this I've done this and then I realized if I were to do this can I do this in a, in a for a longer period of time probably not if I want a great physique if I want to look like that if I want to have a ripped physique for all 12 months by following this low salt no no not no salt no sugar no salt diet for how long can I maintain this for you probably cannot so that's what it's so surprising you know they we we get so attracted and uh, you know by seeing those guys you know when I say attracted I mean you know we get so captivated with the physique that you know we want that physique we do everything that we can to get to that level I remember a lot of people uh, uh, were inspired uh, by seeing Bhag Mil Kapag even I was very inspired but deep down I knew it that this guy has put in a lot of effort and you know with, with his diet everything put together and it's not easy trust me it's not easy if you don't believe me go on a complete low salt diet for for a day or two, you'll realize you'll get withdrawal symptoms. It will be impossible for you to do it. So hats off to these bodybuilders, hats off to these fitness models, what they do and the kind of willpower and dedication that they have. But do they talk about it openly? Fuck no. They will not even give a shit. They will like, you know, no, we eat regular food. Come on, yeah, you can't be eating regular food because you don't have a regular physique. If you were eating regular food, you look just like a regular guy like me. So tell me what the fuck do you take? But you know, I'm going to share that with you. Why? Because they don't want to unleash their secret weapon for some reason. But I think time has come for us to share that information with everybody. You know, uh, for you to know what these guys do. So that at least if you have a dream to get a physique and see yourself even once, at least you know what to do, how to follow that diet. Coming back to lunch now. Now lunch is all about, again, boiled food. It could be a boiled chicken. You know, I, I'm sure your trainer must have told you, boiled chicken cow, you know, take and only chicken breast. That's what they do. Yeah, they're right. They just have to take boiled uh, boiled chicken with some rice if the, if you want to. Uh, after that, probably in the evening, again you're going to have some grilled fish or salmon, whatever. That's pretty much it. And depending on your weight, if you really want to pack on more muscle, so you can add some more meat onto it and some more fibers like veggies and stuff. But no salt, no sugar, nothing. Even more extreme. Last week of their shoot, the first, the last three days before they actually have their contest, two to three days, they even leave water. So that they further dehydrate themselves and they look even more ripped on the stage or for a photo shoot or for a contest or whatever. Can you imagine this torture? And you feel that, you know, wow, you know, we see this physique, oh, you know, and then they, then and all these bodybuilders, trainers, actors, celebrities come out and tell us, hey, we just ate regular food. We just worked hard. Of course you worked hard, but you also worked hard on your diet. Share that diet. And, you know, also, don't follow these uh, 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 celebrity plans and diet plans uh, because they may not tell you the real deal. They will only give you a top-down view. But they may not tell you what goes behind those scenes. Obviously, they have, you know, as I said earlier, there's a lot that goes behind. There's a lot that meets the eye. And, you know, I will talk about all those things in a different video. But this video is all about diet and nutrition. So this is what. And also, you, you need to understand, I'm not talking about supplements here. I'm not even talking about steroids. I'm just talking about boiled diet right now. And also... These bodybuilders and fitness models, they have huge dosages of steroids. Shit load of steroids that they load up. And as they come closer to the competition, the dosage goes up. And and, and that's, that steroid could be, you know, around, it could be stanozolol, it could be clenbuterol. Clenbuterol is, you know, is a is an antibranchialiter. It's used to, uh, to kind of increase your heart rate. Give it to usually an asthma patients. Uh, then you have, uh, uh, you know, uh, there's so many other cutting drugs that you can actually, you know, uh, testosterone for that matter, testosterone proponate. I, and, and also, there's this new thing on peptides that these guys have been doing, HGH, which is supposedly injected on your stomach and which minimizes your uh, body fat. Now, there's so much of shit that you have to put to get that body. Do you think it's worth the effort? Do you think it's worth it to, to spend so much of money that to for a temporary shot that you would see yourself and find and feel good about it think about it maybe it's not so that's why what you see don't believe it there's much more that goes behind it follow a regular diet follow a regular program and and you know you can get a good physique something which you can maintain and be proud of for the rest of your life it's just about being patient stay natural
that's my only message for all of you and don't follow the celebrity diet plans and diet nutritionist and trying to tell you crap i hope you get the answer so till we meet again see you Thank <laughs> you.